Hi everyone. Well, we made it through another week. It's Friday night. It's time to sit back, relax, have a little dinner, have a little wine. Hi everyone. I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my channel. Well, welcome to my deck. How's that? Welcome to my deck. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another Friday night wine diary series. Having a little bit of wine, a little bit of dinner, a little bit of conversation. Just a fun night. Alrighty, so I know I'm cheating again because I opened this wine and I didn't finish it. And so I thought, you know what, instead of opening another bottle, let's reuse the bottle. So I've got this vampire wine again. And it's a Cabernet Sauvignon. And um, that was really good. So I'm looking forward to having it again tonight. And what am I having for dinner? I made some soup in the crock pot. And I don't know how good this is going to show. Let's see if I can get it up here for you. So it's one of the Rachel Ray recipes. And this one, she calls it her Tuscan soup. So it is some bacon, about a half pound of bacon, chopped up in here. I got a pound of sausage in here. Lots of onions, peppers. I got fresh garlic in here and kind of fried all that up in some nice olive oil. Got it cooked through. Once that was done, I put that in the crock pot and I used two quarts of chicken broth. Kind of cooked that all in together with some salt and pepper, things like that. And once that was cooked, Oh, and potatoes. I put some potatoes in here too, chopped up some potatoes. And then once that was done, I chopped up some spinach. I said kale, but I substituted spinach. So I chopped up some leaves, put it in there, let it wilt, or wilt, whatever you call that. Let that wilt for a little bit. Turn the heat off, let it sit in there. And then I put in two cups of heavy cream and whisk that in. And this is what this is. I've got a piece of garlic bread off to the side probably isn't one for Cabernet Sauvignon but you know what it is what it is the wine was open I was gonna have this with some Chardonnay but it, or a rosé or something I thought you know what we're just gonna do with the open bottle so and I didn't take my big calendar out here my advent calendar but I have got another piece of candy from the 31 days of Halloween and this was from Ferrero and it supported the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals and this is going to be my fifth video so I took out number five and it's from the Kinder Collection and it's a mini and if I remember these from last year focus please they were really really good oh, so anyway I hope everyone had a fabulous fabulous week uh, last week we were like in the 40s and it was cold. It was like maybe we'd hit to 60s during the day. The nights were in the high 40s, low 40s. And then we had a week of solid rain. Nothing like New York had with their flooding that they had and the subways that were flooded and just everything coming to a stop. We didn't have anything like that, but we just had a lot, a lot of rain. And then, um, was it last Friday or last Saturday? Um, the power, it was like severe thunderstorms and uh, the power just kept flickering and flickering and I think I was on YouTube for a little bit commenting and saying, oh yeah, it's flickering, just enough to kind of set the alarms off and do that and then bam, power was down, internet was down for like six hours here. So again, on the weekend is when I kind of try to catch up on YouTube a little bit with watching videos and commenting so that was done but I did light some candles and just kind of relaxed for a bit fell asleep and relaxed so that that was nice and then bam the next day we're like 91 degrees the sun's out it felt fantastic and of course I had thought it was going to be cold and so I bought the ingredients for like a Penzella soup really love that from Rachel Ray and this one was a new one so I thought I would try that. Of course, then it was kind of hot and muggy and it's like, well, I took the meat out, it's defrosted, I'm gonna to have to eat it. So anyway, sitting outside right now, it's a little after midnight. It's nice and quiet. It's like I don't hear any traffic, just a really slight breeze. And I'm gonna try some of the soup.
It was getting to be soup weather, and then all of a sudden it wasn't. Cheers, everyone. Hmm. This is really good. Mm. I have another quick bite. Yeah, I love some of Rachel Ray's cookbooks. A lot of them don't have a lot of ingredients. It's easy to remember once you make it. You don't have to dig up the recipe again unless you just wanted some more ideas. Really good. I'm going to have some of my Cabernet Sauvignon. Mmm, smells nice. I smell maybe blackberries, maybe some cherries. Mmm, something else. Maybe plum. I don't think I've had plum in a while. Okay, I'm gonna go in. Cheers, everyone. Here's to a great weekend. Here's to great friends. Here's to enjoying life together. Cheers, everyone. Mm. It's really good. Until it was aged in some nice oak barrels, a little bit of dryness up on top of your palate when you when you start to to drink it, swirl it around a little bit. The flavors get to the back here. Your mouth starts to water from the acidity. The flavors just kind of come alive. So I, and I'm pretty sure it's blackberries, plum, cherry, but it's smooth. It's not vanilla. I'm gonna say cocoa. Cocoa or mocha is what's in here, making it smoother. I think the bottle said it was like 13.5% alcohol, so not too bad. It's just a really nice flavor. It's dry, but not overly dry. And I think it's still gonna go good with my soup since there's sausage in there. And again, it's just a nice way to relax on a Friday night after a long, hard week. And, um, I'm going to sit back, enjoy the quiet, finish my soup, finish my wine. Hopefully, I won't fall asleep out here, but if I do, when I wake up, I will have my little dessert. So again, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means so much to me. I appreciate you guys more than you know. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you take a second hit that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. <sighs> yeah, you guys, you guys rock. You guys are everything. Yes, yeah, so I hope you leave me some comments. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. Share my content if you want. And I'll just quick show you my Halloween dress. So I've got this little sequin tag. I think I got this from Amazon maybe last year. Maybe the year before, it's just on a little headband, so you can kind of swish it around wherever you want. This necklace is also from Amazon, maybe last year. You know, it's so kind of muggy, I didn't bother to put my earrings on. And I got this dress from Timu. So it's this orange kind of patented dress. I don't know what it is. There is some lace on the bottom, if I can get it up to show you. Some lace on the bottom. It goes down to just below my knee. We've got this square neckline and then this netting with some rivets and then just the long sleeve detail. So just a fun outfit from Timo, a fun Friday night to spend with you guys. And again, I hope everyone has a fabulous weekend. Take care, everyone. Stay safe, be kind, enjoy life, have some fun. Love you guys so much and we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.